Hello, thank you for purchasing the Mia Live Box. This video is going to help you with installing your ATEM into your Mia Live Box, and together we're going to get you up and ready for live streaming. Let's get started. When you receive your Live Box, you will open it by lifting each latch located at the front of the case. You would then remove the inside protector foam. Be sure to set it aside because you'll need to use it to protect your ATEM and monitor during transport. Next, grab the connectors on the inside of the connector panel cavity. All of the connectors have been conveniently placed together with labels for easy installation. Match the corresponding connectors to the back of the ATEM. Take care in inserting each cable. The HDMI cables may be a little tricky, but be careful when twisting and aligning each connector and gently insert as demonstrated. Lift the front of the ATEM, angling the back side down, and place it into the connector panel cavity. There may be a little resistance, but keep applying pressure until you get the back side seated and then push the front side until it's in its place. There is no need for any screws or brackets. The ATEM will stay put until you're ready to remove it. To power your live box, you will need to insert a three-prong extension cord into the receptacle located on the right side of the case as demonstrated. Next, connect your laptop by connecting an ethernet cable from the back of the case to the connector onto your laptop. You may need an adapter as demonstrated. Then you will connect your USB-C connector to a portable hard drive if desired. The USB-C cable can also be used to control the software, but the ideal connection is to use the USB-C as a stored solution when capturing the program. The Ethernet is used for controlling the software and streaming the program to the Internet. Keep in mind, a laptop is not needed for the ATEM to work as a live broadcaster. However, there are many benefits of using a laptop, such as to control the ATEM, and having more options available so that you can get the most out of the product. Connect your cameras to the HDMI ports on the back of the live box. You can also connect an additional laptop to one of the HDMI ports for displaying graphics and pre-recorded videos. You can connect additional microphones to ports 1 and 2 to the corresponding ports here on the back of the case. Moving to the left side of the case are two additional plugs and two USB 5 volt power connections for your convenience. There is also a switch controlling the fan located on the far left side of the box. If you are working in a warm or hot environment, we would advise you to turn on the fan when the live box is in use. This will keep all of the components inside of the box from overheating. Finally, it's time to turn on the live box by pushing the switch on the right side of the case as demonstrated. The screen automatically turns on along with the ATEM. Start the ATEM software on your computer. Once the program is connected to the ATEM, click on the gear setting at the bottom of the program. Under the General tab, make sure the resolution is set to automatic. This is very important for your screen to display the ATEM signal. To control the volume and picture quality of the monitor, press the menu button and cycle through the menu topics using the plus and minus buttons. The plus and minus buttons on the monitor operate in a reverse sequence, so it may take a little getting used to. Since the monitor comes pre-calibrated, there is no need to adjust the video setting. However, you will need to use the menu to mute, unmute, and control the volume of the monitor. Take note that upon receiving your Mia Live box, the monitor's volume will already be muted for your convenience. 
On the front left side, we have placed a headphone jack for monitoring the program. Keep in mind, this feature is suitable for listening in on the program feed and cannot be used for monitoring prefader signals or mixing. Now that everything is connected and running properly, you're all set and ready to go. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email us at support at Thank you for watching.